Learning Linux may very well be one of the most important skills that you can learn in 2023. However, I think the barrier to entry for many people for learning Linux is just simply getting their hands on it. Maybe they don't have a dedicated home lab or dedicated virtualization server. However, if you have a desktop, a laptop running Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, I want to introduce you guys to a phenomenal tool that I had read about, I've seen it, however, I just recently took the time to get my hands on it. I know many may disagree with me on this, but I think this tool could potentially be the easiest way to get your hands on a Linux server and start learning Linux today. Guys, I have used just about every means possible, or at least that I know of, to spin up a Linux server to work with, to play around with in the home lab for production use, for development, you name it. I have used a lot of those tools, and those tools include really great solutions such as Windows Subsystem for Linux, Terraform, Ansible, PowerShell, PowerCLI, and many, many others. However, I want to introduce you guys to a tool that I feel is perhaps the easiest tool that you can use to spin up a Linux server. And you can do this in the same fashion that you can easily spin up a Docker container. In other words, you can pull a virtual machine image and start that virtual machine image with a single command and you can easily interact with that virtual machine without any installation and configuration time. That tool is Multipass. Multipass is a tool released by Canonical and they are of course the maker of Ubuntu workstation and server that most of us no doubt have used and maybe using now. Multipass is a tool that in my opinion literally has the same feel and functionality of working with a virtual machine that you get with working with Docker containers. So first off, how do we install it? To install Multipass, if you just Google Ubuntu and Multipass, you are going to land on the page that you see here, and it is multipass.run. As you can see, Ubuntu VMs on demand for any workstation. Right at the top, we've got a green install now button. So let's click that. I want to show you guys how easy it is to access the installers. So as you can see, you just simply select the operating system you're starting with. So Linux, Windows, Mac OS. As I think a lot that are beginning their journey into home labs and thinking about learning Linux, most are going to be starting with their daily driver as a Windows workstation. So I'm going to show you guys how easy this is to install on a Windows box. Click Windows. We click the hyperlink download multipass for Windows and it should immediately start downloading the multi-pass installation. Super small file, it's around 22 meg. We get the multi-pass executable. So let's see what this looks like to run the installation of multi-pass. If you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro Edition, then you have access to Hyper-V with that license. Hyper-V is the preferred means to run multi-pass VMs in a Windows environment. However, it's not the only option. With Multipass, you can also use VirtualBox. If you're running a Windows 10 Home Edition or Windows 11 Home Edition, you can also install VirtualBox for free and use Multipass with VirtualBox instead of Hyper-V. So I'm just going to next through the installer. We're going to accept the EULA. And as we see, we come to the hypervisor configuration. So of course, Microsoft Hyper-V is recommended. Can also choose VirtualBox, so note that as an option. We're gonna click Next. Here, I'm just simply leaving the defaults. I've not had any issues with doing this. Multipass is just going to configure some path variables for us. I'm leaving the default installation location, leaving the default components, selected for installation and simply click install. It's that easy. Just a couple of moments, we've got the completing multi-pass setup, click finish. Now that we have multi-pass installed, we're going to see how easy it is from a command line using multi-pass to pull down Ubuntu server images and spin up those images as new virtual machines. Totally automated, totally orchestrated, just like a container. Navigate to the Windows Terminal admin prompt, and we're going to take a look at 
multi-pass options as multi-pass is a powerful command line tool that allows you to work with your Ubuntu server virtual machine images again much like containers if I do multi-pass dash dash help we get a list of the available options with the multi-pass command as you can see we have many available commands when we issue the multi-pass help command and many of these are the basic commands that we want to use such as multi-pass list multi-pass start stop and then also we've got delete and purge and we'll, we'll dive into some of the more advanced options here with multi-pass but I want to show you guys if I just simply issue a multi-pass list it's going to say that we don't have any instances found so we have not as of yet provisioned an Ubuntu server using the multi-pass utility if I simply type multi-pass launch what we are telling multi-pass to do is literally go out and grab the latest and greatest Ubuntu image that is available from the catalog of multi-pass images and install all that in our environment without any configuration without looking at yaml files without looking at powershell files multi-pass allows you to do this in an automated way you don't even have to worry about it so if i launch this command multi-pass launch once we issue the multi-pass launch command if we have not gone out and created a multi-pass instance as of yet it's going to first fetch that image, just like the process using Docker. As you can see, I have already fetched an image prior to the video, so this part is really quick. So what it's doing, it's using the image that it's already fetched, and it's literally starting a Ubuntu server instance using Multipass. And just a couple of moments later, it has finished provisioning the Ubuntu server. So if we literally go back and look at our command multi-pass list what we see is we've got our newly provisioned ubuntu server up and running on our windows machine how awesome is that and one of the cool things if you work with hyper-v if you go to your hyper-v manager what we should be able to see is our hyper-v virtual machine that it has created using the multi-pass utility so multi-pass is literally a orchestration and management utility that handles all of the logistics of pulling down the image and provisioning the back-end virtual machine and the process would be similar with virtualbox so it's really cool to see what's actually happening behind the scenes there but how do we actually work with this virtual machine well, one of the other things that I think is super cool, if we go back to our task menu and we click the multi-pass icon, we now have the newly created Ubuntu instance available. And as you can see, as the menu pops out, we can choose the option to open shell. When we open the shell, we are literally in the Ubuntu server. So we can literally start doing things like updating the instance. We want to do that. And one of the cool things about the multi-pass, this is a full Ubuntu virtual machine running in our environment, quick and easy with the multi-pass utility. As you can see, multi-pass is awesome. And it's phenomenal to see virtual machines spun up on a Windows host quick and easy with no configuration files or other automation frameworks. Multi-pass handles all of those things for us where we can just simply get into working with the Ubuntu server as we want, provisioning it, hosting resources, whatever the case is. But what about tearing down your virtual machine environments? Well, let's take a look and see just how easy it is with multi-pass to tear down any virtual machine environments that you have quickly stood up with the multi-pass solution. Let's see now how easy it is to stop and delete multi-pass virtual machine instances that we have running. So if we do the multi-pass list one more time, we still have the Ubuntu 2204 LTS virtual machine running what we want to do now is issue the multi-pass stop command and we're going to give it the name of the virtual machine that we have running and just like a docker container once you feed the name to multi-pass we now should see that that virtual machine is stopped and we do so with a state if we want to delete that virtual machine all we have to do is issue the multi-pass delete command for that virtual machine instance now if we look at the virtual machine state it still is displaying in the multi-pass list of virtual machines 
However, the state is still showing as deleted. There is another multipass command that allows you to purge deleted instances, and that's simply the multipass purge command. Once we issue the multipass purge command, we can then list out our multipass instances, and as expected, we see that there are no instances found. So awesome, that quick and easy to tear down a virtual machine environment that you have running or multiple virtual machines. What if we have a custom configuration or a custom image that we want to pull with our multipass utility? You can also do that. Multipass allows you to set the cores, the memory, the storage space, as well as which network the multipass VM is assigned to. So it's all super customizable and easy to configure. One of the other cool things with multipass is that it allows you to feed the multipass command line utility with a cloud config. So it will use cloud init to customize your Ubuntu server virtual machine any way that you need it to. Let's take a look at a specific example of how to customize a new multipass virtual machine. So I want to paste in a command and just walk you guys through the parameters in the multipass command. Doing the exact same thing, we're issuing the multipass launch command. However, we can do things like naming the new virtual machine as a result. So we're going to name this multipass test. The dash C allows us to define how many virtual CPUs are configured for this multipass VM. And then, of course, the dash M refers to the amount of system memory we want the resulting virtual machine to have, as well as the disk size. So we can do the dash D and actually feed in the disk size for the resulting multipass virtual machine. Another interesting option is the dash dash network parameter. With this parameter, we can add an additional network adapter and actually tell multipass which virtual network that we want to have this virtual machine connected to. In my client Hyper-V, I have created a external network that is named external 01. So I want this multipass virtual machine to be connected to that external network. The mode parameter defines whether we want the network connection to be automatically configured. Think DHCP. So if I define the auto mode, the connection to the external 01 virtual network will attempt to auto configure the IP address information using DHCP. So these are really cool options that when we start to think about how do we get into creating and configuring customized virtual machines, these options allow us to effectively do that. So I can execute the command and multipass will begin the process to configure the virtual machine based on the parameters that we have set. Now, as you can see, after just a couple of moments, the multipass virtual machine that is customized based on the parameters that we have defined has been launched. So if we issue the multipass list command, we should see the multipass test virtual machine running, which we do. That is awesome. Now, Think about this, what if we have a cloud config that we want to pass in so that using cloud init, multipass will customize the virtual machine exactly as we have defined in the cloud config YAML file. To do that, I'm just going to paste in an example of that configuration command. So we do the same thing. We launch a multipass virtual machine. We can name the virtual machine. The parameter that we want to use is the dash dash cloud dash init command. And then of course we provide a valid cloud config YAML file. In that file, you can configure things such as the detailed Ubuntu configuration parameters and additional configurations, such as adding a customized SSH key to your Ubuntu server installation. So a lot of really great things that you can do with the multipass cloud init parameter. Now, another cool thing I want to point out is if you want to Take a look and see which appliances are available out in the multipass catalog. You can issue the multipass find command. While the list is not too overwhelming at this point, there are some fairly interesting options out here to quickly and easily spin up Ubuntu server instances, virtual machines that are running very common configurations. As you can see, you can easily spin up a Plex Media server a next cloud appliance, an AdGuard home appliance, and a couple of others that I really like. What if you want to spin up a Docker container host that has the Docker environment configured along with 
tools such as Portainer. Well, you can do that with the Docker image for a Ubuntu server virtual machine. They got a Jellyfin image, a Minikube image. So a lot of really great images that are already pre-built. And again, you can spin these virtual machines up as you would a Docker container. And this is just fantastic, I think, for home lab purposes, development, DevOps, or just learning Linux and playing around with Linux related tools. So what do you guys think about Multipass? When I started using it, I found that it was literally one of the quickest and easiest ways to stand up Ubuntu server virtual machines on a Windows host. And it's equally easy to use with a Linux environment or Mac OS. While other automation frameworks are tremendously powerful and I continue to use those daily in the home lab, I think Multipass has a great use case for those that are delving into learning Linux to getting their hands on a Bash shell or just seeing what Linux has to offer. Multipass totally eliminates the time needed to install and configure an Ubuntu server and allows you to just simply jump straight into a bash shell. Well, what tools are you guys using? What do you think about Multipass? Have you used it in your lab environment or on a laptop or desktop and quickly spun up virtual machines? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do like the video, subscribe to the channel. Happy home labbing. Stay safe out there guys and I will see you guys soon.